Welcome to today's upper body pump circuit. We are gonna be working a little bit of our core, but most importantly, we're working our shoulders, biceps, and triceps. Chest will be fire, all right? As we go into this workout, before we get started, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a warm up just to make sure that we're getting all of those rotators and chest muscles warm before we get into it. Are you ready to start? All right, here we go. All right, we're gonna start with our first arm circles, nice big arm circles going upwards, making sure we cross our hands in front of our face. Good stuff here. And you wanna take your time with this, make sure that we really feel every inch of those rotator cuffs to make sure that we're stretching them out properly. Good stuff here. And now let's go backwards. Big circles in the same manner. You wanna make sure as you're going back, squeeze those scapular muscles together, get big rotations, big wide circles. Good stuff. All right. Next movement, next movement, all right? We're gonna go ahead and do our overhead reaches. Follow your hand over the side of your head as you reach over, come back to the center. Same thing for the other side. Let's get about three of these on each side. You can feel the trunk, obliques, everything kind of relaxing. And trust me, these are gonna help you get through your upper body workout today. Perfect, one more each side here. Good, other side. All right, and lastly, one of my favorite stretch, even though we aren't focusing on our lower body today, we are gonna do this stretch because we need all of the areas that we're gonna work to be on point right now. So let's go ahead and grab the top of our toe. We're gonna lower ourselves down into a nice deep squat. And we're gonna reach up, looking through our legs, stretching the hamstrings, lower back, and standing up, bringing the hands over our head. Good, and then reach back down through the knees, grab the tips of our toes, look through the legs, stretch the hamstrings, stand straight up, hands overhead. Let's get one more of those through the knees, grabbing the tips of our toes, looking through the legs, slowly stretching those hamstrings and standing straight up. Perfect, guys. So five exercises today. Each exercise is gonna be 30 seconds with a 20 second rest period, all right? Our first round will be 30 seconds through and our second round will be 35 seconds each exercise. First exercise we're gonna get into is the commando plank. You're gonna come down into a plank position and we're gonna come up on one hand and down on the other. Are you ready? Three, two, one, and go. Coming up and down, coming up and down. And as you're coming up with this position, make sure that your core is tight. I mean, like you're trying to squeeze into your favorite pants for my ladies and for my guys. It's almost like you're trying to squeeze in our entire midsection. Perfect. We got about five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Good. Good. And that exercise is gonna give us a full body that's gonna be our starter. Next one we have plank reaches. We're gonna be back in that plank position, but now this time you're gonna reach out over your head, making sure that your elbows, shoulders are hitting the side of your ears. And we're gonna alternate those reaches, making sure we do a full extension. All right, guys, are you ready? Three, two, one, and go. Reaching past our ears, back down, past our ears, back down, good. You wanna make sure those arms are nice and straight. You may even feel some of the shoulders working here, right? I mean, some of the shoulder muscles on the backside, posterior chain, you're gonna get that work. And that's important, right? That's super important, making sure we keep ourselves nice and tight. Pelvic bone should be down towards the floor. About five more seconds, four, three, two, and one. Good stuff, guys. Our next movement is a great way to start working on doing the perfect push-up, called a negative push-up. We're gonna start with our body completely on the floor. Hands will be overhead, like such. We're gonna swim it into the neutral position and lift our body up just like this, relaxing ourselves back down to the floor, very slowly and under control. Are you ready to go? Here we go, three, two, one, 
and down over our heads and picking up. Slowly release the body back to the floor. Good, come back up. Slowly release the body back to the floor. Come back up, down. Perfect, guys. And same thing, make sure your body's in a line. You don't wanna pick your hips up too high. Make sure the core's staying tight the entire time. About five more seconds, four, three, two, one, and relax. Awesome stuff, guys. That's our third exercise. Fourth exercise we're gonna get into, it's very similar to this hand release push-up or negative push-up that we did. We're gonna start in negative position. When we come up into that push-up plank, we're gonna reach past our head. This is called the single arm push-up, okay? Not one-handed push-ups, the single arm push-up. All right, a little bit of a difference here. So starting on our stomachs, three, two, one. Same way you do the negative push-up, come up, raise one hand past your head, come back down, relax the body. Perfect, and coming up, raise the hand past the body, come back down, and relax, good. You wanna find a tempo within your body here, and keep that rhythm to get through this workout. Super important. Good stuff, guys. Slow control movements. Make sure that hand is getting in line the side of your ears, right past your head. Three, two, and one. Good stuff, guys. Good. So far, so good. We're gonna go into our last movement here. This is a tricep, floor tricep dip. And it's not important that we're getting as high as we need to. This is a great way to start working your triceps. All right, we're gonna flip our, flip our feet around. Toes are gonna be pointed up. Hands are gonna be behind us here. And all we're doing is raising our body up as high as we can. It doesn't matter how long or short your arms are. Whatever distance you can get on the floor is what you can do, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one, and lifting up. And down, tap the floor and pop up. And down, relax back to the floor and pop up. And down. And the farther up your feet are, the more engagement you're gonna get in those triceps. Good stuff here, about 10 more seconds. Good. You should feel those triceps working every time you lift your body up off the ground. Like I said, it doesn't matter how long or short your arms are, you're going to get the work regardless. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff, guys. Good, we're gonna take about 30 seconds here. We're gonna relax for just a few minutes. I like to do this to cool myself down. So now we have all of the exercises in hand and we know exactly what we're doing. Now we're gonna take it up a notch. We're going 35 seconds for each movement. Same thing, 20 seconds off, starting with the commando planks. Make sure you get a sip of water. I'm about to right now myself. If you haven't already, there's some sweat going down your back. I know, you're starting to feel a little bit of the work here. Take about another 10 seconds here. And we're starting with commando planks. Once again, guys, commando planks. Make sure slow controlled movements and keep the core tight the entire time. Three, two, one, and go. Coming up off those arms and back down. Coming up off those arms, back down. And remember guys, alternate the hands that come up. Let's alternate the hand that goes down. Good stuff. Looking good, looking good. Nice, slow, controlled movements. You got this, just a few more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Perfect, perfect. All right, guys, next movement we're going into, plank reaches. So we're back into that plank position, reaching right over our heads, right over our heads. Here we go. Three, two, one. And go, reaching over the head and down. Good. This is a little bit of a peaceful place for me. I love being in plank position. If you control your body, control your breathing, this is so beneficial for all parts of your body. Five seconds left, four, three, two, one, and time. Good stuff, guys, good stuff. All right, next one is gonna be that hand release push-up. 
that hand release push up, that negative push up we talked about with our body starting on the floor. I relax those muscles. I always like to just do some arm swings forward and backwards. Get ready for the next exercise. My shoulders are burning right now. Here we go. Here we go. And three, two, one. And we're coming up off the floor and down, slowly control. Coming up off the floor and down under control. Up and down under control. Good, the most important part of this hand release push up is relaxing the body at the bottom of it and coming up strong and with intention. Make sure the body stay nice and flat. Do not pike your hips up too high if that's not the exercise. Three, two, one, and relax. Good stuff. All right, guys. Now we're going into that negative hand release push up again, but this time we're going to lift the hand up. So we're doing what? The single arm raise push up. Single arm raise push up. That's what we're going to do next, all right? Go ahead and relax those arms one more time. Here we go in five, four, three, two, one. And we're going down and popping up. Reach through, down, popping up. Reach through, down, popping up. Reach through. Make sure we use the full extension of those arms. Make your body nice and long as you hold up into that position. Breathe in perfectly. Lock those arms every time you come up. Three, two, and one. Perfect stuff. Last movement, kick those legs in front of you. We're going into our tricep floor dips, those tricep floor dips, okay? Look guys, you're doing so good so far. Just keep working through. I know the arms are probably burning you right now. You're having a little issues with maybe catching your breath. I know I am a little bit as well, but guess what? You're doing this workout and you're doing so well. So let's just push through, get through the finish line. In three, two, one, and lift, and down. Tap the floor, lift, and down. Remember, the higher up your knees, the more extension you're gonna get on these triceps, the more activation you're gonna get. And it doesn't matter how tall or short your arms are. Just keep working through. Extend those arms. Good, relax it, and lift, relax it, and lift, relax it, and lift, and time. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. Give yourself a round of applause. Let's go through a nice little cool down stretch here. All right, so we're going to start one more time, putting our hands through our arms here, making sure that elbow gets locked in. I'm going to reach through and pull nice and tight. Relax some of the tension in that shoulder. And breathe out, relax your muscles. Perfect. Good, and let's switch arms. Reach through, make sure we get that elbow locked in and pull through, good. Oh, that was such a great pump for the upper body. I can feel my shoulders just blazing. Good, next movement, we're gonna go ahead and take our elbows behind the head. Grab that elbow and pull it. Try to get your hand in the middle of your back. Good stuff, reaching over. And that's just to help stretch that tricep just a bit there. It looks good, looks good. And now we're gonna switch sides. Good, and relax our hands there, perfect. Next one we're gonna do is our arm circle, arm circle, going forward. And this time in the warm-up, we did it a lot faster, but now you're gonna go nice and slow. Just wanna relax the arms as much as possible. Going backwards as well. Good stuff. Nice big circles, but one of my next stretches we're gonna do is a nice big bear hug to ourselves. So we're gonna reach for those shoulders and pull ourselves in. Good. And then you wanna open up Try and get a good relaxation across the chest, pec major, pec major, pec major and pec minor, excuse me. Good. Let's 
squeezing, open up the pec major, pec minor, squeeze the scapular muscles, come back again, squeeze in, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. And you know, if you think about it, give yourself a nice big hug here for a great workout that you just completed. Good stuff, last movement we're gonna do here. We're gonna take this shoulder, we're gonna lift this hand, and all we're gonna do is bring this shoulder up as high as we can, try and get it into the earlobe, and bring it back down to relaxation position. Bring that shoulder up high as we can, and down, let's do one more on this side. Bring that shoulder up high as we can, and down, good, because we definitely work those shoulders. Other side here, all the way up high as we can, and down. Second one, lifting that shoulder up high as we can, and down. Oh, I can feel the shoulder stressing out right now. Relaxing all of the stress that I just went to put it through. Perfect stuff, guys. Hey, good job. Great workout. See you again.